Uh, best method to do keyword research for large accounts, 200 plus SKU. These are fun ones, man. Oh, Lord. Okay. Um, I would say, if at all possible, do keyword research within the account. Now, I'm not sure if this is an account that has some sort of ads running and you're looking to like beef up the ad structure or launch additional keywords or if this is I got to fully launch 200 SKUs. If you got to launch 200 SKUs, you're going to have to grunt work through it. I mean, you can call on anyone else on your team. I mean, we've done that in the past when there's like pedal to the metal, it's go time and we're looking to push stuff out. I mean, we do have the advantage of having an agency with multiple team members who can help step in on the keyword research because that's honestly one of the most time consuming ones. If you already have ads running for these products, if you already have data within the account, um, use your search term reports as a keyword research method. Start there, work your way out. If you do not really have a good, clean ad structure where you can attribute search terms to individual products and you're having issues there, then I and the products are already selling on the ad account because you got to speed run this, I would say use reverse ASIN search on the individual products to do your keyword research. Where are they already ranking okay, have decent search volume, and you want to leverage ads to be able to push those specific search pages and ideally gain market share there. I would start there. If you have, again, if you're in the weeds and you are fully launching 200 SKUs from scratch, no data, no nothing. Again, I mean, like a, maybe a better method would to see, can you bucket? Because like, that's the struggle with large SKU accounts is you don't want to do disservice or have poor strategies. You want to do a good job on everything. But again, where's the focus? Um, so I would say like, if you can bucket these meaning like, oh, these are a bunch of shirts and then I have a bunch of pants and then I have a bunch of cups. Like, can you bucket the keyword research and still do a good job, but you know that those keywords are going to apply to multiple products? That could be another good way to do that. Yeah, I think I think that was the other thing. Again, and then the other thing to know is that if you have data, look at which products have the highest impact on the account. Because what you're going to end up with, is if we do this all the time in very large product categories, is I would look at it on a per parent ASIN level. I would go into download a business report and I would take that, uh, you take product sales for that parent ASIN, divide the total of all of the uh, product sales. And basically what you're trying to figure out is what percentage of the total sales does this product make up? The higher percentage of the total sales that product is making up the uh, more focus that product should have. Hopefully that makes sense. So if there, if there is sales data, if there is information you have, uh, the more you can sort of hone in on the things that are already working, the things that are going to get, you know, that 80, 20 rule, the biggest bang for your buck um, and be able to do really strategic and integral keyword research for like the top five products, three products, whatever is going to make sense. And then you can do that, you know, either search term analysis, reverse ASIN searching, or, you know, strategic, strategic bucketed keyword research um, for those, uh, the rest of the catalog. And then depending on what pops off when you run that advertising, then you sort of move uh, products up in terms of priority.